Hello everyone, my name is Panagiotis Kutsabasis and I'm going to present to you our work entitled Location-Based Games for Cultural Heritage Applying the Design Thinking Process. I come from the University of Aegean and the Department of Product and Systems Design Engineering. My colleagues in this paper are my co-authors are Kostantinos Parthenyadis, Anna Gardelli, Panagiotis Kogetzidakis, Vasiliki Nikolakopoulou, Pavlos Katsikrigoriou, and Spiros Vosinakis. When we started this uh, project on mobile games for cultural heritage, we considered several design processes that we could follow in order to uh, develop the games. Uh, we have uh, chosen to follow the design thinking process, which is a five-stage process and includes the steps of empathizing with the problem at hand and with uh, the people in the context, uh, defining the problem, ideating about uh, ideas and solutions that can uh, be uh, applied to uh, the problem at hand, uh, prototyping with several uh, means and uh, materials and uh, testing uh, the outcomes uh, from the user perspective. Uh, we had also considered other processes like the Lean UX uh, Cycle, which is an iterative process uh, that shares a, a lot in common with design thinking, uh, but uh, emphasizes more on uh, fast intermediate uh, results of uh, minimum viable products and um, we chose not to follow this approach in that particular project because uh, our project had a mid or long term uh, duration uh, but we have uh, also considered and we have applied the NDA uh, framework this is a framework for developing games in general um, of course all these uh, frameworks are not only for mobile games they are for uh, any kind of uh, interactive system and um, with regard to the MDA, uh, MDA is about mechanics, dynamics and aesthetics. Mechanics are the components of a game, the dynamics are the rules by which uh, the mechanics evolve during the game, and uh, the aesthetics are the emotional uh, responses and the user experiences of uh, the users of the game, the intended uh, experiences and uh, emotional responses. Um, so uh, we have chosen to follow the design thinking process and in this paper we are going to show how we did that. So a uh, few words about uh, the context. Um, we, our game is about uh, olive oil production heritage. It is about the Museum of Oli Olive Oil Production which is located at Le the Lesbos Island in Greece and uh, at a particular settlement of Lesbos in Agia Parascavi. Um, in general, olive oil is produced uh, in Greece and in this island from antiquity. At, in the, at the end of the 19th century, uh, the citizens of uh, the island were committed to the creation of a community's olive press uh, in order to use the proceeds uh, of uh, this community olive press to the construction of uh, the villages, uh, schools and other public benefit purposes. And, um, our game uh, unfolds this uh, story of uh, uh, creation of the community uh, Olive Press and uh, it is a game that uh, can be played uh, in the museum and uh, also in the settlement uh, of uh, Agia Paraskevi. Now if we move to the uh, process, uh, the design thinking process that we have followed uh, regarding uh, the first step, the empathize uh, phase, uh, we have uh, conducted field visits. These were fast-paced sessions of uh, interweight observations, interviews and contextual inquiries about learning uh, how uh, local experts and how end users, visitors of the museum experienced their uh, visits so far. Uh, we uh, constructed several uh, models uh, in this phase, like uh, customer journeys, uh, which were about museum visitors and stuff, and uh, we obtained several information about people, places, 
cultural content and uh, documentation uh, uh, from uh, from the museum mainly. <coughs> so uh, in these uh, photographs we can see how we uh, visited the, the museum and the place and uh, talked with uh, uh, people there. Uh, regarding the reflection of this uh, phase, we uh, saw that uh, the motivation of the team was increased during this, uh, after these uh, field visits. We established several points of contact with uh, external experts and with users. We established uh, sub-teams and we identified uh, potential content for the application, possible elements for visual identity, user groups and initial ideas and scenarios. Uh, if we move to the second step, the defined step, uh, we reviewed the project goals because this project was had in some initial goals but they needed to be refined based on the field uh, research and field work. Uh, we uh, decided that uh, the game should be played in the museum and the settlement. It uh, should include the exploratory learning about cultural heritage, storytelling, role playing and rewards in the augmented reality and we constructed several models of uh, about user groups, about personas, uh, about mechanics, dynamics and aesthetics of the game and the system design. So this is a table that shows uh, the mechanics, dynamics and aesthetics of uh, the game. Uh, regarding the mechanics, uh, for example, we can see that this game has experience points, missions, uh, which uh, semantically and spatially relate uh, groups of challenges and challenges are questions about cultural heritage to be discovered in the settlement or in the museum. Also the game includes tools that are tangible artifacts and uh, the users would be able to see them in uh, AR, in augmented reality and so on. Virtual characters, narratives and so on, hints, uh, maps, player levels, rewards. Uh, the dynamics of these uh, components were also uh, outlined in uh, this phase, how they would evolve during gameplay and the aesthetics, uh, that is the desirable emotional responses of, uh, of the users, uh, were also um, identified in, it, in this uh, step. And also in this uh, phase we uh, defined the architecture of, uh, of the game in terms of uh, Android uh, architecture components uh, framework. We defined the main areas of user interfaces, of uh, view models and of uh, the repository and the database of the mobile uh, game. So uh, after this uh, definition phase, uh, phase we saw that uh, revisiting project goals after field research was uh, required and inevitable actually in order to align initial ideas that we had with uh, uh, constraints uh, based on the specific context and uh, the people's needs. Uh, we identified several use cases per user group and we defined uh, a few concepts based on the MDA framework. Uh, in the ideation phase, uh, we produced several visuals for concepts uh, that were identified in the uh, MDA framework and several diagrams for processes that uh, the user uh, would have to follow and the design, the mobile game design should, be, should support. So several visuals included, for example, the missions map, which was a map that uh, grouped uh, challenges and uh, we uh, decided to provide a graphics view of that map um, and then when the users uh, uh, would go to the uh, specific challenges then they could see the, uh, the, the real map and their location on that. Uh, we also designed the visual characters uh, for, for this uh, game. Uh, we produced them in several iterations and we changed them uh, a bit and uh, we also produced uh, some diagrams uh, that were about basic uh, processes that would be supported in the mobile game and this diagram is about uh, how a user approaches a point of interest and uh, what happens uh, depending on uh, whether he uh, or she uh, responds correctly or not to a challenge. So uh, about the reflection uh, 
from the ideation phase, we conducted several iterations uh, with the core team of uh, the development of the mobile game and a few iterations with uh, larger participation. Uh, focus, meeting, focus meetings were necessary to go through processes and validate, uh, validate ideas for, for several visual elements. And uh, of course, several visual elements were inspired from our experiences, photos, media, and so on that were captured by our field visits. At the prototyping stage, we developed uh, software uh, in uh, several uh, sub projects, uh, for example, the on onboarding sub project, the character help, the missions map, challenges views, and so on. And then we integrated. Um, these uh, sub projects as soon as we tested them um, in uh, terms of uh, peer testing and sometimes in uh, user testing in the lab. Um, so uh, we followed the Android architecture components to, to develop this uh, mobile game and, um, and here we can see a small uh, demo of the, of the game. Uh, here is the onboarding phase and uh, later on uh, we can see the missions map and the two characters that are uh, helping the user to uh, progress with uh, the missions and challenges. When the user selects a mission then they can uh, find themselves in the area of the first uh, group of challenges and uh, in here the users can um, see the challenges, they can uh, look uh, at speci specific locations in the uh, museum or in the settlement and provide answers to those challenges. And after they do that, they earn uh, their reward, uh, which are tools that can be uh, used and they, they can learn more information about the tools that people used to produce uh, olive oil in uh, several uh, stages of the, of the process. So about the reflection from this stage, from prototyping, uh, we saw that um, uh, it was necessary for software development to uh, start early uh, with uh, several aspects uh, of that were uh, new or perhaps uh, kind of risky for, for this project. We uh, made decisions also based on utilizing software patterns found in open source communities and we followed the architecture that maps uh, onto the framework of uh, Android architecture components. And uh, when we moved to the testing phase, uh, we performed several, uh, we used several methods for testing. First of all, in lab testing, we mainly tested software projects um, and sub-projects uh, in terms of uh, performance and also in terms of user experience. Uh, the main uh, method for, for testing uh, that uh, for the first uh, integrated version was field play testing with experts constructed interaction. This is a method that we have uh, constructed uh, in order to play test in the field uh, and we involved other designers, peers and uh, project uh, stakeholders to play the game um, and the uh, experts uh, played the game in pairs and they, pro uh, and they were uh, observed and we uh, kept notes of uh, their interactions with uh, the game throughout the game and uh, at the release uh, stage, and before the release stage, we also made uh, user testing in the field. And at the release stage, uh, we have also analytics, and we have uh, further made uh, field uh, studies on uh, how users um, play and uh, interact with the game, and what is the user experience. Uh, so, uh, the reflection on uh, that stage was that early testing was uh, required and revealed uh, the feasibility of ideas and experimentation with several design variations. This is mainly about the lab testing. And in prototyping with experts in the field, 
we uh, discovered several um, items um, uh, that were uh, useful for us because um, we identified several performance indicators, several usage uh, uh, data produced, and uh, we validated cultural content. This is also uh, a major uh, area for testing of our application. And um, so in this uh, uh, term we saw that uh, some, uh, some of the results of this uh, field play testing with constructive interaction, we saw that uh, we identified and we learned about how much time people would need to, to complete uh, the game and how much distance they would need to cover in uh, the museum and the settlement uh, how much time they would need to complete the challenge and so on how many points they could gain and um, of course we, we generated and we identified several uh, qualitative issues about gameplay, about usability, functionality, location context and cultural content and also this uh, uh, method allowed us to uh, identify on the spot uh, and in the field uh, cultural uh, content variations and perhaps more missions and more challenges that could be incorporated in la later version of the game. Uh, so um, to conclude, uh, we have applied the design process in mobile game design um, and we propose several methods uh, to, to do so for mobile games, for cultural heritage like field visits, system design architecture, uh, mechanics, dynamics and aesthetics, uh, user interface and flow and field play testing. And um, we have uh, seen that uh, from, from this work that uh, design thinking process can be applied in uh, mobile games for cultural heritage provided that it is uh, refined with uh, specific uh, methods that are um, appropriate for, for this purpose and uh, we have tried to reflect on uh, the methods that we have used uh, in order to provide some experience to other uh, researchers and uh, practitioners and um, lastly if you want to see more about uh, this particular mobile app and about the project, you can click on any of those uh, links. So uh, thank you for your attention.